This video is presented to you by Draeger's International Classic Sales in Seattle, Washington. Wow, what's happening at Draeger's? Draeger's Clubhouse is getting a new mural on the side of the building. And I want to tell you, Andy, who does murals and has been doing them for a long time, did a great job putting this mural together. Uh, and he tied it into the building so you can't tell where the beginning and the end is on the mural. And it looks like you can go right, drive right into the mural. It just, it's really good. I think you'll enjoy this uh, video watching it get made. It'll be fun to see the finished uh, mural. The mural is coming along day by day. Andy is just rolling along a very good clip. It's really looking good. I can't wait till we start adding uh, cars on the street. It's coming along quite well. He's added uh, three cars in here so far and he's got some more to go. It's going to make a neat setting when this is all finished. The mural is really taking shape. He figures he'll have it finished today and get all the detail and he's going to stay till he gets it done. And it's just looking phenomenal. I even had a gal stop yesterday and tell me how beautiful it was. You'll have to bring your car down here, put it in front, and take a picture of your car in the front. Well, it's getting better looking. He's blending the asphalt in to the photo. Actually, it's not a photo, is it? It's a mural. Finishing touches. Andy is now putting a clear coat over the whole thing to protect it. I want to tell you, it looks good. It is finished, except for the clear coat. You've been doing murals. Murals for about 20 years. 20 years. And how did you get started? Uh, well, I've been an artist all my life. And um, back in 94, somebody saw my portfolio and offered me a job to come out as a mural painter. Um, so that was, uh, that's been it for the last 20 years. Where was that at, where you first started? In Connecticut, a uh, little Wait, antique store in Connecticut. Yeah, and, yeah. and where are you from? England originally. England originally. Yeah. And then you came to the United States and you've been yeah. painting? Now, tell me about this mural here you're doing on our building, uh, Dreger's Clubhouse. Now, if I remember right, this was a picture that you painted originally of downtown Edmonds. Yeah, the original um, painting was a watercolor of uh, Main Street in Edmonds in around 1934. Um, so it's based on that. I've changed the, a few things. A lot of the buildings are the same. Obviously, the signage is different, um, but it, it creates a really good backdrop and, and basis for what you want to do here with the with the vehicles. So, uh, so it's but it, it is based on Edmonds. And if you go to Main Street in Edmonds and walk up Main Street. A lot of what you see here is still in existence. So. Yeah, I recognize the theater, and of course this building over yep, here. Yeah, the building. That, that's you know that the roof line up there is still there, just like it was. Yep. Now it says Safeway back there. There was it, there was, was a Safeway, Safeway on the store. corner. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's where the Mexican restaurant is now. Actually, that the Mexican restaurant is is just kitty corner to that, just across the street here. The oh, Safeway okay. building is a okay. clothing okay. store oh, on the yes. corner opposite Starbucks. Yes. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then so that's where it's uh, where the 39 is in front. That's where the Starbucks is now. Uh, that's right, right on the right on the corner. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, super. I I just been amazed at how well this has been coming together. Oh, well, thank you. And how you're tying it well into the building on both sides here, so it it just looks like you could walk right into it. Okay. Yeah. By the time we're done today, and we match the color up on the ground here, and get that nicely fading into the into the road, it should be in full effect. So. Super. Well, thank you very Thanks, much, Jerry. Andy. You're doing a great job. Thanks for having me. Okay. Well, I hope you like the looks of our new mural out here at Dreger's uh, Classics. We just got it finished. Andy did a great job on it, and I want to tell you. It looks beautiful. I think it's going to be neat having cars in front of it. And I invite you to bring your car over here and take photos in front of this uh, mural. I think it should be fun and something you'll enjoy for a long time. Anyway, I 
want to thank you for uh, watching my Facebook page when you saw all the stuff going on and, and everything. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Marty has a very nice Bel Air. I mean, it is a beautiful car. He's got to be very proud of it. We're going to take some more photos here in front of Dreger's Clubhouse. Mar Marty is the first one to come have his photo taken in front of the, our new mural at Dreger's Clubhouse. Marty, how long have I known you? Uh, since about 1990. Since, about since 1990. And uh, that's when you had a 65 Chevy Impala convertible. Yes, SS. SS, yes, I remember. <laughs> very it was a very nice car. And I remember I bought it from you so you could buy my 54 Chevy convertible. Now tell me about your Chevy. Well, the Chevy was a California car brought up to Whidbey Island. Uh, it was given to the fellow I bought it from, from his godfather, who owned it since 1956. Wow. And uh, it was kept in a garage, I believe, most of the time. I believe it had 103,000 original miles on it when I got it, but as typical of an older car, all the corners were a little dinged up. So you straightened it out? Did you put the power steering on it? I put the power steering on it. The uh, well, I had it done. Um, the uh, my first car when I was in high school was a '54 Chevy Bel Air four door, and that thing was fully loaded. Picked it up at Chuck Olson Chevrolet for three hundred seventy-five dollars. But I took all the parts off it when it finally rusted out, and a lot, a lot of them are on that car, including the hood, the radio, a lot of the bumpers, anything I could put on my original car. I tried to put on this car. I didn't know that. So you put all that on there. That's pretty neat. Quite, quite a bit, as much as I could. Okay. So Marty has uh, been part of the uh, Greenwood Car Show here in Seattle, but he also puts on the Shoreline Car Show, and he just had his fourth annual one, and it was the best ever this year. I think he did a great job, Marty. It turned out extremely well. Um, the sun, of course, was number one, but we had a lot of cars I'd never seen before, which is really weird because I consider myself the guy who goes and gets these cars and it's like, where do these cars come from? But it's also a Seafair community event and I think that helps. How, how does it feel to be the first one to put your car in front of my uh, new uh, mural here and get your photo taken in it? It feels fabulous. I love to put my car in front of iconic things and uh, Jerry Dragger is an iconic thing in this town as far as I'm concerned and uh, I love being here. Well, thank you, Marty. Thank you. Drager's Clubhouse, a fun place to see. Make sure you come by.